Hey y'all, today I'm talking about the blame game. I got this suggestion for everything that I saw, you know, going on with Kanye West regarding people blaming his mother Donda for the decisions he's making. And also I got this idea from looking at Pharaoh said that he's a YouTuber. So the thing is, is that Kanye, I believe is what, 40 something years old and people still have the nerve to blame this man's mother for his decisions. And it's like, after a certain point in a person's life, like I think once a person is about maybe 18, at least in America, or 18, 21, whatever, when they go off to college, at a certain point, you can't be looking at the mom to have control over what the adult child does. And especially Kanye's mother is deceased. You know, let the woman rest in peace. She's gone. She has no, no more influence over this man. And then it's like a, a, a man, once he gets of a certain age, he's no longer listening to mommy. He's no longer trying to suck at her breast and gain all his nutrients and life experiences from her people. We get who we are comes from multiple so, so, sources. We get a piece of us from the father. We get a piece of us from our mother. We learn things from school, people at the playground. You know, if you go to college, your college friends are just friends around the way. Even if you're selling drugs on the block, you get some influence for those people that surround you every day, your teachers, your babysitters, principals, things like that. So it's not just all in the parent. That's not even realistic. It's not just, we don't just get everything from our parent. And then uh, another thing, these people who go out blaming this man's mom it's like some of us we come into the world with different temperaments you know i was always like a more relaxed different type of child where some other kids may be more rambunctious you know more lively jumping off things and everything like that not everybody comes out like that even some parents say they can see differences in their child's demeanors even before they can talk while they still crawling you know they they kids just got different temperaments some kids sleep all night some want all the attention and just up and screaming and you can't soothe them no matter how much you rock them give them the breast pat them on the back burp them change their diapers nothing so it's like we come to this world with i don't know what it's called some type of blueprint as of who we already are we have some things some characteristics already in us and life builds upon that base that's already in us that cultivates totally who we are so it's like come on guys and what man do you know that's really a strong, confident man after a certain age, probably even, I don't know, 14, 15 or whatever, is listening to everything that mommy and daddy say do? I mean, they, you know, for the most part may come in when told, but they're going to have their own thoughts. The kids, kids and teenagers, that's why it's called, what is it, um, rebellious teens. They're trying to figure out who they are. They're going against the grain that mom and dad set. They're trying to figure out, okay, well, mom and dad told me this but I go to school and hear this I go out in the neighborhood I hear this I'm in the community center and I hear this so they're trying to develop who they are so it's like no uh, uh, certain things that my my mother may have taught me I may have thought okay I'm gonna um, go with that but then different life experience I'm like nah that don't fit me maybe that fit the time she was in or that fit the mindset she was in but that don't work for me so I decided to take those things that I'm going to allow for my life and then push aside the other things and i'm sure that if we can be honest with, with ourselves most of us we do that we put aside the things that no longer work from us with our parents and we hold on to whatever thoughts whatever traditions that we decide to do and i think sometimes in this culture the reason i call it the blame game is because we can't just say um some of us just can't say oh i i disagree with kanye you know um and and just say you disagree with him and, and it ain't got to be nobody's fault like why does he think this way you know i disagree with him so it must be somebody instilled this way of thought into him because to make him so dumb and so stupid that he don't agree exactly with everything i think so it got to be somebody to blame no it, is it a possibility that this man just has a different thought than what you than what you think and that it's okay for him to have a, a different thought than you think. We don't have to go blaming this man's mother for, for some 40 year old person. And like I said, um, I saw when Pharaoh said that, go check him out and subscribe to his channel on YouTube, was saying that um, even 
your parents don't even agree with everything that you do. And I thought about that. I'm like, wow, that makes a lot of sense. Because I think about it. At a certain point, your parents, you may, they probably don't agree with the person you marry. And even though they raise you and they may think I raised you, you should think how I think. You should act like I act. But that is not the case. If, if it was, we wouldn't have so many dysfunctional families. Somebody had to rebel and do something against what mommy and daddy said. That's why it's dysfunctional functional because we're not lining up exactly 100% like our parents would like. So, you know, your parent may not agree, your parents may not agree with the like I said, your your dating your dating choices. You may have a child and you may want to name your child Stanley, but your daddy wanted you to name him Edward Lee. You know, um, they don't agree with the schools you went to to. Um, I meet so many people, especially like college age people, they want to go to school maybe for art, dance or something, and their parents are saying, No, that's dumb. Don't do that. I want you to do this. So there's always disagreements within that family unit as soon as the kid can get to talking you know look at even a one-year-old two-year-old the mama probably want to get a child milk and they clash and butt in heads because the child want orange juice or apple juice the mom want them to play in the band and the child want to be on the football team but mom and dad are like no you're gonna get a concussion so the clashing even starts before the teen years now that i think about it it starts and sometimes it's even when the baby is still an infant the baby may want to be picked up and rocked in the middle of the night. Mom and daddy may want to go to sleep. It's a clash. Mom and daddy may get up and do it because they don't want to hear that kid crying all night. But still, it's a disagreement because they know they got to go to work tomorrow and do something. And they don't want to be up with this little kid, but they ain't got no choice. So it's always differences going on in, in that household unit. So that's that with Kanye. Also, um, another thing, there's this um, rapper. Um, his name is FBG Duck, who died about in 2020. And people blame his mother, saying that, oh, she should have did better with her child. She should have made better choices. But the thing is, this man died, I believe he was 26 years old. And people were still blaming his mother for his choices. He was a drill rapper, you know, drill about... Um, dissing the dead people or about killing and your oppositions your ops and killing them getting back on them t t or you know whatever and so um people want to blame his mother for the type of music that he liked and i mean that he made and it's like how are you going to blame his mom how much control could she actually have over this 26 man year old man what is she going to do come up to him and say um duck you better stop making um this drill music i'm gonna beat you up he bigger than her i think he was six seven or something 200 and something pounds but she, he going to sit there and let mommy spank his head? Or what she going to do? Put this big six, seven something man across her lap and spank his butt. And he going to sit there and let it happen? Come on. What, what can she say? We don't know. And then people act like they really know these people. Um, entertainers or just people they don't even, just regular people that they may see on YouTube or whatever. That we start thinking that we really know these people. We, who's to say that she didn't even tell him, hey, maybe you shouldn't make all these diss songs. Maybe you shouldn't do this and this and this. You know, how we know she didn't tell him that. And then the thing is, it's like, even if she did, how much is he going to listen? A grown man who probably been making his own decisions since a teenager is not trying to listen to mommy. Any man, most that I see, don't want to be um, in authority. You know, they want to be the king of their castle. At a certain point, a, a grown, real man ain't trying to have no woman be over him as an authority, and especially not his mommy. Okay, I don't know some of y'all people. The people know, but <laughs> I, you know, I, I uh, no. And so, you know, you can tell a grown person something and sometimes what? It's going to go on one ear and out the other. If you be truthful with yourself, people come to you. Maybe your own parents come to you and they tell you, Tasha, 
this job, they disrespect you, they don't pay you on time, you ain't got paid in a month, you should stop going. And if Tasha's serious with herself, she may decide to listen to her parents if it's for her benefit. We do things that we feel that work for us and that we get some type of reward. Even if we don't agree with people's lifestyle, they keep doing whatever they're doing because they feel that it's working for them. Even if we think it's toxic, it's dysfunctional, these people gonna do what they wanna do. And so Tasha, she gonna decide, look at her life and say, maybe she feels safe at this job. Maybe she got a little boo thing at the job that she gonna keep going if they ain't paid her yet. She's still keeping the faith. She ain't about to do what mama say. She gonna do whatever she want to do. This is why people move out of their parents' house. Cause we don't want to continue to have that influence over us at a certain age. We wanna go out and have our own lives. We want to do what we want to do without having that parent always over us being overbearing as some parents not all parents but some are you know like people with some parents will say you know well i didn't raise you to be like this i didn't raise you to think like that and you may want to tell that parent to hell with what you raised me to be and to think i'm grown now and in order for you to be properly grown that means to get it out your own get to your own place your own bag so you can make your own decisions be free of from mommy and daddy because you understand that you came into this world with a purpose and even though you came through your mommy and because of your daddy's sperm that does not mean that you are just a total replica of them yes you share their dna i cannot disagree with the science biology or whatever it is i ain't do i ain't do that good in um in sciences y'all so forgive me if i said it wrong but y'all know what i'm talking about don't play with me so you have some of your own identity and in order to make the best of that you have to get separate sometimes from people who birthed you to and who knew you to find out the true person that you really are you know so yeah going back to um th these people blaming this woman and then her son her son people will say oh he was a known gay member and she should have she should have trained him better and it's like he was 26. If he was game banging, how is that mommy's fault? I'm sure she wasn't out there game banging with him, sliding with him. You know what I'm saying? Out there on the block, holding it up, holding up the block with the son. Like, come on. Is it possible that this man decided that he was going to make drill music because drill music is, was, is popular? Is it possible that he got a lot of fans? a lot of money so he was doing this because it was bringing him some type of reward financial reward could have also been bringing him clout and respect honor all these kind of things if it wasn't bringing him anything he wouldn't have been doing it and that ain't got nothing to do with mommy that goes intrinsically in his own reward system what was working for him so it's like come on guys how, how long we gonna um blame people parents for who they are you know people have a mind of their own you know and it's okay if we don't agree with them we don't always have to sometimes we analyze things too much we want to go real deep oh my god it just can't be that they made this decision someone has to blame be the blame for this decision and i'm going to get to the bottom of it was it his mama was it his daddy did the mama not breastfeed him enough did she not spank him enough did she not have a good talking to with this individual you know and it's like come on guys uh, if, if if any of you have kids you know and like i don't have kids but i've worked around kids a lot you know i've babysitted kids been around kids a ton and i remember i was working at this school and for it was like a behavior specialist and this child he would just a lot of times just wouldn't do what he was asked to do no matter if the parent came up there and told him what to do no matter what the teachers no matter i asked this child what to do and i was telling someone in my personal life about the child i didn't give any names or nothing like that to identify the child you know that was confidential but anyway someone asked me this question and they really thought that they were giving me some knowledge they looked at me and was like well Samira have you told the child that he needs to do his homework and he can't be acting like that because he got to go to school and I'm and they're looking at me like they're giving me some some knowledge and game like this is real wisdom knowledge and understanding and I'm and I'm like um I didn't say it, but I wanted to say 
Do you think everybody's dumb and you're the only smart one? You, you, you think nobody thought to come up and say that to that child? Despite us telling this to the child, this child had determined at that age that education was not important to him. No matter what everybody else thought, this child at the age of 10, 9, 12, whatever he was at the time, had determined that he knew better for his life at that time. And of course, I'm not saying that you give up on the kid and blah, blah, blah. But to me, it's a certain point like, okay, you try to motivate the kid, you know, they know the consequences of not doing the work. And it's like, after you give them the work, it's like, okay, well, they're not going to do it. Ain't nobody about to keep begging. Look, Little Timmy, please, please, little Timmy. Look, let Timmy get a DNF. And if little Timmy want to keep on going his life like that, well, then let it. You know? I mean, it's only so much you can talk to kids. I've done it a lot as a behavioral specialist, and that's why I really don't like working in that field because it's like they want you to beg these kids to do something different, and these kids we already have in the set mind. They don't want to do the work and some of them will do it but they don't want to do a lot of it or they want to do it on their time schedule you may want the kid to do math at 10 and they don't want to do math until after lunch or you want them to do science when they first walk in the door and they don't want to do science at all that day and it's constantly headbutting because even young children have minds of their own let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. If y'all have not already, like this video, subscribe, share this video. Let me know what you think. Also, the links to my books, my fiction books are down below. And now you can get my books, not just on Amazon, but um, one of my books, Road to Malevolence, is now sold on Kobo. So I'm so happy about that. I am expanding my books so more people can have access to them. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.